Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at breaching or code breaking or hacking, uh, whatever you want to call it, in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, mostly done through these access terminals where you'll be faced with this uh, breach protocol where you have to use the code matrix to put in a sequence to gain rewards of various degrees. Um, if you look down in the description, I'll put some timestamps because I'll probably go into a few things in this video, um, like perks and that sort of thing. But let's go into this straight away because this is what you're here for. Um, you've got three tiers of rewards here on the right. Um, inputting the code sequence will get you the corresponding reward however you can do all of these if you get lucky in the code sequences line up for example this one has got lots of 1c's and 55's in it so it might be possible to actually get all three but we're not sure just yet up here we've got the buffer um, this is saying that we have got five uh, code entries available this does change sometimes you get six sometimes you get four um, or maybe even more later in the game I'm not sure at this point um, but as you can see, the code is only three digits long for this one, but you have five spaces in the buffer, which means that potentially you could add the code for the third um, option plus the code for the second option or the first and the second. Um, or through duplication, you may be able to do all of it, which is fantastic if you can do it, but not always possible. Absolutely not always possible. Sometimes you can only get one. Um, up here is your breach timer. This does not start until you select your first um, entry. Um, so you take as much time as you need to work out where you're going to go, create a mental map of which ones you're going to click on and then start. Um, and that will help you get maximize what you're going to do. Um, I have not seen this one before. In fact, I entered this terminal a little while ago, then exited again because I went, was still in combat. And the code has changed, so it's not always the same code at every terminal. Um, Alright, so let's have a look at the sequence to start and see how much of this we think we can do in one go. Um, it's good that the first line for our third, because I always aim for the third one first, and then I work on the other ones afterwards if still available. Um, the first one is 1C and we want it to be able to hit a 1C next so it goes in a line you always have to start at the top and then you have to go down and then you have to go sideways and then you have to go up and down so it's always a horizontal then a vertical choice then a horizontal choice then a vertical choice um, so you're moving in a square pan uh, we're starting at 1C we're going to 1C there's lots of 55s available so we know that we've done the third one already um, However, we aren't going to be able to do the first one because the sequence breaks, but we are going to be able to do the second one as well, and then we can go up to a 1C there and complete the second one. So let's go ahead and do that. 1C, 1C, oh it is still letting us do the second one, maybe. 55, uh, we've got two entries left, so we could do um, a 1C, no it didn't let us do both. So as I suspected you can't do both. Uh, however, if there had been a duplication between line 1 and line 2, that would have allowed us to do both. But because they both needed separate um, entries, we weren't allowed to. And there you go. We have going to get the rewards for the version 2 and the version 3 data mine. And if we have a look as we exit, that should show us on the left what we get. We got a thousand uh, eddies there and some components and experience for the breach protocol. Um, let's. I've got some other clips where I am able to do all three, so I'll show you that now. Okay, so here we are on a side quest where we have to hack into this body. Um, just like the last attempt actually, the numbers are very very similar. However on this occasion, because there is duplication in the rows, we're going to be able to do all three. Um, so let's have a look at that now. Um, we need to start off with 1C um, and there is duplication on line 2 so we're going to do both those in one and we're looking at where the next one's going to go because the next one's going to be a 55 and then a 1C across. Very easy indeed and this one is the 55 is duplicated on three lines, the 1C is duplicated on two lines so all we've got left to do is put in these two 55s. job done. 
Right, next let's look at jacking a vending machine. This isn't always possible, but uh, if it is possible, the symbol will come up if you have the perk that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, we haven't got much duplication in the lines here, so I don't think we're going to be able to do all three. Uh, down the bottom is probably best. 55, B, D. Yeah, 55. BD duplication um, and now we've got a choice between first row or second row we can't do both so obviously we're going to go for the second row easy money okay now we're going to look at quick hacking and using breach protocol to lower the RAM cost of moves in quick hacks um, this is usually a very easy um, code to break um, you have five buffer options here so the first one can just be a random one if you need it to to get to the ones you want and if we scan again you can see that the ping RAM cost has gone down to 5 from 7 right let's look at uh, data mining antenna and aerials satellites um, this one's a bit trickier there's no direct access to data mine v3 the third option so maybe we can do one or two before doing the third one. I think we could probably do one and three. Uh, I think the issue here, here is that uh, the E9s, there's only two E9s and we have to do them in, in order. They have to follow the B, D which will be on the left hand side there. So I think we can do starting at the top at 55 go to BD then across to BD then down to E9 and then across to E9 I think that should work and there we go we got two of them the last one I want to talk about is when you're asked to crack the security on a shard that you've acquired for a quest as you can see this one has a fourth data mine option where you get to copy the, the malware um, for this quest which can actually change the course and actions you can take whilst doing the quest. Um, in this situation you want to prioritize the final one, the quest one. Um, anything else you can get is just a bonus. Um, so as you can see here we, we have seven entries and we are able to uh, actually sneak in the first and second rewards as well as the malware quest reward that we needed to do. Okay let's look at the uh, perks associated with this. There aren't many. Uh, if we go to character and intelligence um, and then down here we have got the extended network interface. I highly recommend you get that will show you where these access terminals are um, anywhere. You don't have to scan for them first. They will always just show up. Um, and then second we've got the advanced data mine um, which increases your eddies for hacking so it's well worth it this can be very lucrative indeed as you progress through because there are so many of these access points and once you get used to doing this you'll actually get very quick at working out these codes so it's easy money right i hope this video has helped you um i'm sure you're enjoying cyberpunk as much as i am it's such a good game absolutely ridiculously good and um unlike all the reviews i have barely seen a bug in the game i've seen one person t-pose and i've seen a cigarette glitch out of someone's hand and that is it so um either their day one patch was very good or i just haven't found the the bugs yet but um anyway well done CD Projekt Red, um, there will be more content on this channel for Cyberpunk, I'll still be covering my other games as well, don't worry, um, but I am so engrossed with this world right now, um, and there are so many things that I think I could help other people with by explaining and uh, perhaps showing you where some of the cool stuff is, so uh, stay subscribed to the channel and check me out, uh, and until next time, you'll see me more in game.